Now we know that m is equal to i omega omega p. For a given disc of a given mass, given shape, i is not going to change because i is equal to m k square, k is radius of gyration. Omega will also not change if there are no frictional losses. So we can clearly see that m will directly affect omega p. Correct. If m is 0, then omega p will also be 0. And if omega p is 0, the direction about which it is spinning will not change. If omega p is 0, then direction of spin or you can say axis of spin will not change in orientation. It will keep on spinning about the same axis if there is no moment, external moment being applied. If we apply the same funda in a rotating disc, we have a rotating disc and suppose we made such a setup where you are not able to apply the moment on the disc. How we can do that? We will see. But assume that there is a setup, we have made such a setup that it is not possible to apply any direct moment or torque on the disc. As a result of that, what will happen? It will keep on spinning about the same axis pointing in the same direction. That is what happens in a gyroscope. Gyroscope, as I have already told you, it is not taught anywhere else, but it is directly mentioned in the syllabus of gate. But they only teach you about gyroscopic effect and they totally miss gyroscope, which can be asked any year in gate. So what exactly is a gyroscope? In simple words, it is nothing but a rotating disc. But how it is different from a general rotating disc? Because a rotating disc is present in such a setup where it is not possible to apply any moment or any torque on the disc. How it is done? Let's have a look at the setup when you have a shaft which is rotating in a housing. You can see in the diagram that between the housing and the shaft there is a bearing. Correct? What is bearing doing? Bearing is isolating the shaft from the housing. So even when the shaft is rotating, housing will not rotate or when the housing is, is at rest, it will not in any manner hamper the rotation of shaft. So what we have effectively done using bearing, we have made sure that rotation of torque, rotation of shaft is not going to apply any torque on the housing, right? Or any of the torque that you try to apply on housing is not going to be transmitted to the shaft. They are isolated with each other, right? Suppose if you have a rotating disc and somehow assume using some uh, imaginary bearing, you have isolated it from the surrounding, then what will happen? Whatever force or whatever torque you apply, that will not affect the motion of that particular disc. And that is done using a gimbal, using a gimbal in gyroscope. Have a look at the diagram of gyroscope. You can see that there is a gimbal attached to the rotating disc. What exactly is a gimbal? Gimbal is a setup which is connecting to the external environment. Okay. And between gimbal and the rotating disc, there are bearing setup. So if gimbal rotates, torque due to its rotation, the moment due to its rotation will not be transferred to the rotating disc because there is bearing between them. And this gimbal is connected to the external setup, the external housing. So as a result of any external moment or as a result of any external torque, gimbal is definitely going to rotate. It is going to take all the rotation, all the torque, all the moment on itself but since it is connected via bearing to the rotating disc so its rotation will not transmit any torque or moment to the rotating disc as a result of that what we can see we can see that on the rotating disc there will not be any torque or moment being applied gimbal is isolating the whole setup of gimbal and small bearings between them is isolating this rotating disc with the external environment so irrespective of the moment or the torque applied on the gimbal, 
the rotating disc direction is not going to change it will keep pointing in the same direction irrespective of what is the external situation and this is a gyroscope i know it looks little bit complex than a simple disc that we were looking at but if you break it down into simple components it is extremely simple setup just a rotating disc there is a, a rod on which this disc is mounted and this whole setup is connected to the gimbal via some b rings and gimbal is connected to the external housing or the external setup so whatever external setup is doing is trying to move is trying to rotate all that effect will be given just to gimbal and gimbal will just you know uh, rotate or move without affecting the motion of the rotating disc so it will keep pointing in the same direction and if this setup is in vacuum then it will be even more effective because in that case omega will not change a lot okay although there will be some small friction here and there in the bearing but if we look at it for any uh, reasonable time then omega is not going to change much correct so we can say that since no moment is being applied it will not precess it will not change its axis of rotation it will keep pointing in the same direction and this setup is used in ships it is used in planes for specific cases with some modification it is also used in spaceships it is used in inertial guidance system in self guided missiles when you have a target locked at a certain place and you need a self guiding missile without having to change the coordinate here and there this gyroscope is mounted in all of these places how because it will keep on pointing in the same direction any deviation of the shaft or the plane or the missile is not going to deviate the axis along which gyroscope is pointing and that will help you navigate in the right direction there is a, a very uh, famous experiences uh, of many pilots who have been uh, flying aircrafts and airplanes look when you fly at a very high speed especially in a turbulent atmosphere the forces and the acceleration due to your motion are very high you would have felt it if you you know when you take off in a flight it moves very fast on the runway right you would have felt that and at that situation you feel a lot of force inertia force g force horizontally it is even more than the force of your weight right so what i want to say is that in such situations the feeling of weight is not that much effective simply by weight you cannot feel your direction and your orientation if you are flying up you will not be able to tell in such a situations or especially in some critical situations whether you are going up or whether you the plane has tilted or whether you are going down or whether you are going straight you cannot rely on your instinct of gravity or your feeling of gravity just because other forces around you are also quite significant than the g force acting uh, due to gravity in such situations when it's cloudy everywhere you're not able to see anything it is very important for the pilot to know where exactly the horizon is and how exactly the plane is oriented correct you know what is horizon when the place uh, when you can see the boundary between the land and the the space that boundary is called as horizon okay so obviously in many situations while flying horizon is not visible so using gyroscope and computer systems artificial horizon is developed for pilots to see how it works have a look at this uh, visual since the gyroscope will keep on pointing in the same direction the disc of it is will keep on pointing in the same direction and the gimbal is directly connected to all the external housing of the aircraft so if the aircraft rotates or it tilts all that tilting and rotation will be done on the gimbal but disc will keep on pointing in the same direction and there are sensors attached everywhere around the gyroscope in this simple visual you can see that there are two sensors which are sensing the tilting of the aircraft because the gyroscope is pointing in the same direction it is not tilting but the plane is tilting so this sensor will strike against each other and it will send a signal 
and it will develop an artificial horizon. It will give the plane an idea of how much it has tilted. Such sensors are all around the gyroscope and it helps to develop an artificial horizon for the pilot to see and keep the airplane in the right direction with the right orientation. Similarly, in the case of, as I told you, self-guided missiles as well, a target is set, a direction is set, right? But obviously, as a result of uh, any other external forces, acceleration, wind, its direction may try to change here and there, right? Same setup is used, gyroscope is used to ensure that as soon as it tilts or moves or deflects, it gets back to the original direction, right? So you can see how effective these small setup it's such a small and simple setup right but how effective this setup is in so many applications uh, all around our world